about more books. <laughs> this is gonna be such a chaotic video, but hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and today we are doing our first book outlet unboxing of 2021. Do you hear the guineas in the background right now? They're excited too. All right, <laughs> so uh, I recently had kind of gone on a little bit of a book binge on Book Outlet and uh, ended up ordering a lot of books. <laughs> so, oh gosh, I thought as always, it would be fun to unbox this with you guys, go through what I got. I will say there's a lot of really random books in here as tends to be the case with my Book Outlet orders. Um, so there's really no rhyme or reason to any of this. I'll kind of talk through a little bit of what I was kind of thinking, but to be honest, I don't even really remember what all was in this order. So let's have some fun and unbox some books together. <laughs> all right, I'm starting with a small package because anything plastic makes my guineas go crazy. So we're gonna open this very quickly. So first thing I'm going to start with, which I'm a little bummed out about, this I thought was actually a kit, like a do-it-yourself kind of kit, and this is Make It In Air, Make It In Air Dry Clay, Creative Projects for Modeling, Sculpting, and Crafting. I'll be honest, I thought it was like one of those like kind of kid kits that like comes with the clay and you can do all this stuff, so I'm actually a little bummed about that. I'll probably just end up donating this because, uh, or maybe, I don't know, go pick up some clay and make myself a nice little, little clay pot. Who knows? We'll get fancy. Okay, two self-help books, which as you guys know, or like nonfiction books, is where I usually tend to get most of mine from Book Outlet. The first one is Lagom of Not Too Little, Not Too Much, The Swedish Art of, of Living a Balanced, Healthy Life by Nikki Brantmark. So this just looks like a very cute, like infographic-y type of book just kind of talking about living your life in balance which I think in a year of post 2020ism I think it's a pretty good uh place to start so I'm excited about this I think aesthetically it's very pleasing to my eyes okay and the next nonfiction one that I picked up is the truth about animals stone sloths lovelorn hippos and other tales from the wild side of wildlife by Lucy Cook this was given and pitched kind of as a Mary Roach style type nonfiction which if you guys don't know I love Mary Roach's nonfiction books so things with just random fun facts about animals just speaks to my soul a little bit so I'm actually really excited to read this and think it'll actually be pretty great and there's pictures or like drawings so very excited about that okay moving into the first very heavy box from book outlet let's open her up okay so i will preface this with i got a lot of animal books because if you know anything about me you know i love animals and i love knowing weird facts about animals it's one of my favorite things in the whole wide world so moving into that i picked up poached the dark side of wild, the inside the dark world of wildlife traffic trafficking, which I feel like this book is going to make me very angry and very sad, but I do want to know more about the world of poaching. I think it's something I want to be very informed about. Like I mentioned, animals are a very large passion of mine, and I just think knowing more about that world is something that I can hopefully help to then in the future help to prevent and just educate others about it as well. Okay, a couple of random animal books like we talked about. The first one is something that just like is probably for children but just speaks to me so much and it's called Weird Insects by Michael Work, Work, and it just looks like a fun picture book full of interesting facts about weird looking insects which I think is so great. <laughs> like look at this, it's a pink grasshopper or technically yes a field, hop field grasshopper. Look at it. It's pink. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, the next one that I got, again, a very random kind of almost coffee table style book is Moose, <laughs> The Crowned Giant of the Northern Wilderness by Mark Raycroft. And again, these aesthetically pleasing photo books just do something to my soul. It just makes me happy. And so, yeah, I just think this is beautiful. I love knowing about animals. Again, the weird random facts. Like, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, makes me so happy. So yeah, I'm gonna learn more about the moose or meeses. Meese? Moose. 
<laughs> okay, and another one that's very uh, infographic-y, probably geared more towards a younger audience, but still, I love it, is Dinosaurs, the Grand Tour. Everything worth knowing about dinosaurs from the Ardonyx to the Zucas. Zoo Zooceratops, Zooceratops, Zooniceratops. So yeah, again, just a very fun children's, very basic infographic -y type book that just I think is great. It's by Kieran Pym, and I think it looks very fun. A couple graphic novels that I recently got is Sabrina the Teenage Witch by Kelly Thompson and Fake Blood by Whitney Gardner. I very recently have gotten really sucked into the world of graphic novels and I saw these both on Book Outlet and thought they just looked really fun. This of course I think follows pretty closely the story of the new TV show that had come out a couple years ago from Sabrina and this I believe is about a boy that ends up turning into a vampire. So super cute. I think the art in this, oh yeah, looks super adorable and cute and again I've really just gotten into some fun graphic novels and they've kind of become my favorite easy quick kind of reads like look at that how aesthetically pleasing I'm very into aesthetically pleasing things lately in case you haven't been able to tell <laughs> okay a couple more nonfiction, and then we'll move on to the next box the first one is the art of making memories how to create and remember happy moments by Meek Wiking Wake Wiking this looks to me like a very again kind of fun cute quick read about just capturing those happy moments which for me is just so important and just remembering to end things on a high note like I just think things like this are just good to have as reminders of the good moments in life and just to focus on those rather than the bad ones so love that then for two more memoir styles, I got Laura's album, A Remembrance Scrapbook of Laura Ingalls Wilder, compiled by William Anderson. I recently last year read all of the uh, Little House on the Prairie books and really enjoyed them, so I thought just learning more about Laura's life from a more historical perspective would be really, really interesting, and I just think that in context it's something really cool to have, and it's just very pretty. Three more nonfiction I'm going to just go through real quick. The first is a bit of a random one, as most of these books are, and it is Your Horse, the illustrated handbook to owning and caring for your horse. Again, I think this is something a little younger styled, um, pretty straightforward, easy to read. And uh, yeah, for those of you that don't know, which most of you probably don't, I recently started horseback riding uh, back in January and have absolutely fallen in love with it. It's one of my new favorite things. It's been such a mental break <laughs> for this last year and just I am so obsessed with it. So I used to be obsessed with horses when I was little and read a ton of these kind of books but I want to get back into it just be more knowledgeable as I'm working with horses handling them being around them and so yeah I thought something like this would be pretty great. I do not own my own horse unfortunately it is so expensive but still thought this would be a good knowledge to have. All right, and the last two, again, another animal style book. This is Mammoths and Macedonians of the Ice Age by Adrian Lister. Again, historical, infographic-y photos. Ugh, I just, there's something about this that just tickles a happy spot in my brain. Again, there's no real reasoning behind it. I just like knowing interesting facts about interesting things, and so I think this will be something really cool to look into and read about. And the last one I have for this box is Where the Light Enters, Building a Family, Discovering Myself by Jill Biden. Want to know more about our new president and his family and just thought this would be one that seems pretty short and pretty quick to read from the look of it. Yeah, the font's pretty big. So I just thought this would be something that would be quick and interesting. And again, you guys know me, I like being knowledgeable about current world issues, things, just random things in general, and thought this would be a good one to have. Okay, I have to ask because this happens to pretty much every single book outlet box that I get, but does anyone else's book outlet boxes look like they've literally been through a paper shredder? Like, look at this. It's so busted. 
Um, I didn't know if that was just me. I just thought all of my book outlet boxes kind of come looking totally trashed. So I don't know what the deal is with that. But uh, yeah, if that also happens to you, let me know down in the comments below because I don't know if it's just my mailing service or what the deal is, but all my books tend to arrive pretty okay. The boxes are just destroyed. So one of the things I'm super excited about with this order in particular is this set that I got, which is the entire series of Anne of Green Gables by L.M. Montgomery. I read Anne of Green Gables when I was back, I think in like elementary school, and I remember really enjoying it. Um, and I might have even read a couple of these other ones, but I just thought these editions looked stunning. I didn't even know what they look like on the, oh. Okay, yeah, these are beautiful. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to tell from the picture and the glare, but like, how pretty is that? They're in like a watercolor style almost. That's stunning. So uh, yeah, I'm excited about this. So moving through these really quick, I have the Habits of a Happy Brain, Retrain Your Brain to Boost Your Serotonin, Dopamine, Oxytocin, and Endorphin Levels by Loretta Bruning, PhD. Again, you all know me, I love figuring out ways to retain my happiness and just overall maintain being a happy, healthy human being. So again, I like short little self-help books that just have actionable items in them, things that I can kind of apply to my own daily life. And this one just seems pretty straightforward and uh, big, nice text, nice big text. So like that. A couple more random animal ones because that's apparently what the pretty much entirety of this order was. I have uh, Amphibians of Europe, North America, and the Middle East, a photographic guide, which again, just a guide about frogs and amphibians. Um, that's, that's kind of all that there is to say about that. And uh, yeah, again, these kind of books just scratch a happy part of my brain that I don't know what to say about. <laughs> Another one that I got is Bats by Nancy Jennings. Again, just a photorealistic visual of, uh, oh, what is that? Oh, cool, okay. It's a common vampire bat that's feeding on the blood of domestic animals, in this case, a goat. Lovely. So I weirdly have a fascination with bats. I think they're the coolest, like some of the coolest animals. And this just seems really interesting. And weirdly, I sometimes think that bats are cute, so. I think this will be fun and short and quick to read. The last two sort of nonfiction that I have, the first one is the infographic guide to the Bible, the Old Testament. Again, I like knowing things, a lot of things about a lot of different things. Um, so this just seemed like a really easy breakdown. Again, maybe probably more of a younger reading level, but I just thought this would be kind of cool to go through reading the Bible and kind of having this alongside for maybe more of a historical breakdown or just, yeah, I don't know, like easy understanding of like the 10 different plagues, just very interesting things about the Bible that maybe I didn't know before. Again, I love weird facts. I love visual stimulation. It all tends to work in my brain. <laughs> and the other nonfiction, again, animal themed book that I have is The Sporting Horse in Pursuit of Equine Excellence. Again, this I think is tends to be more based around more um, horse con competition, like English riding. And I think there was some with yeah, like carriage racing and let's see, more just I think, yeah, the sports in which horses are included, which to me is a very interesting concept, something that I'm interested in. So once again, I thought it'd be cool to learn a little bit more about that. Okay, and the last three books of this very large haul, which again, very random, but the first one, which I think is the actually only non-standalone fiction book that I got, which is beautiful now that I'm holding it in my hands, and that is Witchwood by Tahara Mafi. This is, of course, the sequel to uh, Furthermore, which I have somewhere down here on my shelves. Um, but yeah, I just want to read this. I think it looks so beautiful. I haven't read Furthermore yet, which typically I don't try and buy a lot of sequels, but this, especially now that I'm holding it in my hands, just is so beautiful. And I am trying to read quite a few middle grade. If you guys haven't seen any of those videos up recently, I'm trying to get through a very large amount of middle grade this month. So 
maybe if I have space, I can sneak Furthermore and Witchwood into the list as well. If not, I want to definitely try and read it very soon. And the last two books that I have for this book outlet haul are two more, again, younger style books, but I got the first one by, was it Buffalo Bill or Black Elk? I got another version of this book, which I think they're all by S.D. Nelson and they're Lakota, yeah, Lakota stories. So stories of Lakota people that are really popular and not popular, very important in the Lakota history. And again, I just like, I'll repeat it again, <laughs> I like knowing a lot of things about a lot of different things. So I really enjoyed the first book, which again, I think was Sitting Bull's story and thought it was really interesting. And then I saw these two, which is Red Cloud, a Lakota story of war and surrender, as well as Sitting Bull, Lakota warrior and defender of his people. Again, I don't know much about the Lakota war history, but thought it would be a good thing to know more about. And so I thought these would be really interesting and poignant books to read and uh, educate myself a little more. So yes, that is everything that I got in this book outlet haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments below if there are any books that you guys are interested in me reading or talking about. As always, please let me know down in the comments below. I really enjoy talking down there and give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. Subscribe to see more of my face and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!